Thanks for stopping by Cross Allegiance. I have a very simple message for you, and it's that God loves you, and He wants a relationship with you. I want to highlight a few passages of Scripture, very briefly, that show us God's love for us, as well as the application for our own lives. Genesis 3, Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they sinned, and thus sin has entered upon all mankind. In our shame, we try to cover ourselves with fig leaves. Not a very good solution. And so what God did was, he did the first animal sacrifice. This was a shadow of things to come, as Hebrews states, that this animal sacrifice, which had to be done over and over again, temporarily covering our sins, would be the shadow of Jesus, who is the ultimate and final payment for our sins. God is always about reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 talks a lot about this, in that in Christ, God is reconciling the world to himself, not imputing our sins or charging us with the sins that we're guilty of. It's taken care of by Jesus. This whole message of reconciliation is rooted in love. John 3.16, you've probably seen it at a football game on some placard or at a boxing match. John 3.16 states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Another important aspect of God's love is that he did not leave Jesus in the grave. That Jesus was victorious over the grave. 1 Corinthians 15 calls Jesus the first fruits of those who will be raised. That his resurrection was also a symbol that he conquered sin and death, as well as that we will one day rise with him if we have put our faith in Jesus. And the chapter continues and states that in Adam all die, but in Christ all shall be made alive. And God is patient with us. 2 Peter 3.9 states that God is willing that none should perish, but for all to come to repentance. And maybe you're watching this video and you haven't committed your life to Jesus. I would advise you definitely do so. God's love is there. He is waiting for you to come to him because he loves you. 1 John 4.10 states that Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and provided his son as a propitiation for our sins. And this big word, propitiation, just means as a sacrifice of appeasing the wrath that we deserve and bringing us to grace, to the blessings, the unmerited favor that God gives us so lavishly. Paul continues on in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and says that this is the appointed time. Today is the day of salvation. God has so many blessings for us. Does it make sense to wait? Does it make sense to neglect so great a salvation? We need to follow Jesus and enjoy this life, not just the one to come, but to live a life that's pleasing to him here, doing his will, being guided by the Holy Spirit. We must turn 180 degrees away from our rebellion against God. We must turn toward Jesus and follow him. Finally, I want to leave you with an invitation that if you have not been reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, be reconciled. Trust in Jesus. Put your faith in him. Follow him. Love him. Trust him. And as a response of prayer, it's not how eloquent you are. It's not how you address God in words. It's faith in Jesus. That's the important part. That you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That you confess with your mouth that you testify that Jesus is Lord. He's the master of everything. And so if you would so desire to follow Jesus, Pray, ask God to forgive you of your sins. Admit that Jesus is Lord. Believe in him. Put your faith in him and trust in him, his sacrifice for your sins, that he died and he rose again for you because he loves you. And so if you want to pray along, again, it's not your word choice, but if you really mean this from your heart, pray it along with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you asking, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Help me follow you. I acknowledge that Jesus is Lord, that he is the Son of God, that he is the Savior of the world. I accept his sacrifice and his resurrection for my life. I thank you, God, for the gift of grace that you've given us, that you've shown your love in providing Jesus, that you can reconcile us back to you. And Father, again, I commit my life to you. Help me follow you faithfully and obediently all of my days. And I pray all this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you prayed that and you meant it from your heart, amen. It's great news. 
And angels rejoice when this happens, when you commit your life to the Lord. So, if you've made a decision to follow Jesus, or if you have a prayer request, send us a message. We would love to help you grow in your walk with Jesus and encourage you. You can visit us at our website right here below. You can send us a message via YouTube. But regardless, God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. May that develop. May that be blessed in Jesus' name. And go in peace. Have a great week.